Hey everybody, Dimitri here again with another quick lesson for beginners. Today, we're going to learn our finger numbers and the grand staff. First, let's start with our finger numbers. So if you look at the image to my left or your right, it's going to outline designated numbers for each of our fingers. All you simply have to remember is that the thumbs are always one. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five. Thumbs are one, index is two, middles are three, rings are four, and our pinky fingers are five. All right? And so when you lay it out in front of you, it's kind of inside out. Thumbs one, index two, middle finger three, ring finger four, and pinky finger five. Okay? Those are your finger numbers. Now, let's look at the grand staff. Okay? So, Music is written on lines and spaces. The grand staff consists of the treble clef for piano players that represents everything we play with the right hand and the bass clef for piano players it represents everything we play with the left hand. An alternate name for the treble clef is the G clef. Why? Because this little loop right here goes through the G line, the second line from the bottom. This is always G. And for the bass clef, the alternate name is the F clef. Why? Because the F line goes through these two dots of the bass clef. That's F right there. And that's the F line going right in between those two dots. Okay? I like to start with middle C, which is here. Middle C has the imaginary line here. All right? And it is also both, for bass clef, it could be just above the top line. And for the treble clef, it's just below the E line. Okay, so this is our A line, and this is the E line for the treble clef. And you have each note, if you look at this image, it correlates with where they are located on the piano. So you got C. If you have to play this lower C here, it will be here. If you have to play this C here, it's right there. Middle C, as you see on the image, is here. And then when we go off into the right hand, the upper C is located there. And then we have one of the high C's right there. Okay? So I just wanted to use C just to help you out. And the letters go in order. So if you remember that middle C is here, then the next space will be D, next line is E, and so on. And then if you're going backwards and you remember middle C is here for the bass clef, then the next space below is B, the next line is A, and so on. All right? So that's just a little bit that we can understand and learn for the beginner level about the grand staff. Hope this helps you out. Thank you so much.